Ah, oh, we're on. Right, Body Blitz Fitness, Instagram Body Blitz Fitness. Are you ready? It's the afternoon hoop and chat today. So let me just grab the hoop. You're right, two hours. Oh, and we're all having a funny five minutes. Right, okay, so if you've got your hoops, grab your hoops. I'm going to make this quite quick, all right? I'm going to place my hoop onto my lower back, make sure my tummy is zipped up, turn my hoop to the left, launch to the right, and boom, we are off. Right, okay, so guys, how are you all today? It is thrilling Thursday. I hope you are all feeling fantastic. I know this is a bit of a weird time for me to be going hooping, but I had a banging, banging, banging headache earlier, so I took a bit of time out from social media and my phone. I actually went out with my husband to this really nice little nature trail place, which was fantastic. Had some fresh air, just been walk the dogs, and then thought, ah, quick, go on and do the hooping, Emma. Keep them going, remember? because we want to just keep consistent. So here I am with you, trying to keep consistent. I just realized I've got my phones at really weird angle today. It's like a load of room above my head, but hey, never mind, doesn't matter, does it? Um, are you all good? It is, as I said, thrilling Thursday. I haven't even done my throwback Thursday picture yet on my Insta, so I need to do that in a minute. Oh, so much to talk about. Have you done the daily challenge today? I hope that you have. It was another one minute abs. Oh, honestly, I was in the park at seven o'clock this morning with Abby and we were doing the one minute abs. It's called monkey runs. So you can even do it seated. You can do it without the leg or you build up to the run movement where you're sort of doing this, picking the leg up. Oh my God, we look like lunatics in the park. But if you've given it a go, it's a really effective move. It really works your core and it kind of gets your heart rate up. So it's a bit like cardio core at the same time. So I hope you saw that. If you didn't, it's worth watching just to laugh at me and Abby in the park this morning because we did look like a couple of nutters. But if you give it a go, you'll see why I chose to do it, even to look stupid in the park, because it does work. So that's number one. I hope you've done that. Number two, have you drunk enough water today? This is your, your cue now. If you haven't, it's still sort of early enough in the day that you could still top up your water rather than just drinking it all tonight and then being up all night weeing. So the daily challenge is number one. Number two was your water intake. Number three, I've got a question, I need some help here. Is anyone watching Love Island? Now, before you all judge me, let me just tell you this. I have never watched Love Island in my life, ever. But my son, who actually is 23 tomorrow, he has two friends in now. So two of his friends are actually in Love Island, uh, on Love Island at the moment, and one of them is a girl that has been a bit of a friend. So. I felt I needed to watch it. I started watching it. Oh my good God. It is like the crappiest thing I've ever watched, but I can't stop watching it. So I am like, I am watching it all the time. So I just wanted to know, is anyone else watching it? Can anybody talk to me about it and tell me, who do you think is going to win? Um, it clearly is. The whole thing is a setup, definitely. Um, the producers are one hell of a lot producing. Um, I'm just wondering if anyone's watching it. So that's the, that's the other question. So you've got three questions so far. One was, have you done the daily challenge? Two was, have you drunk enough water? And three is, are you watching Love Island? Right, I'm gonna catch the hoop. I'm gonna change sides. As you can see, my jeans are dropping down, my t-shirt's coming up. Hoop onto the low back, turn the hoop, launch, push your hips forward the back. Right, two more questions. You ready? We're going for it today. It's a questions day. Who's been to see Barbie? the movie, and what did you think if you've been? And the final question is hijack, Idris Elba on the telly. Have you been watching it? Oh my God, it's so good, it's so good. I am very, very impressed. Watched it last night, penultimate um, episode, and it's just like, oh, what else can possibly go wrong? I think it's brilliant, so yeah, I'm looking forward to watching the conclusion of that next week, but I will be sad when it's over. Do you know what I mean when you're watching a programme and it's so good, you want to know how the hell it's going to conclude, but you kind of don't want it to be over because it is that good. Love Island though, I'm looking forward to being over so I can get my life back. Trying to catch up, I never watch it live, I, I catch up the next day in my like, downtime between classes. When I need a bit of a brain break and sit down and just be quiet, I watch it. Um, so yeah, that's, that's how I watch that. But I am looking forward to being finished because I even bought ITVX Upgrade for five ninety nine a month, so I don't have to watch you with adverts. But that is still 45 minutes of my day that I could probably do with keeping for something else that doesn't blow my brain cells. So there, there you go, that's, that's today's subjects. Yeah, that wasn't too bad, was it? So one was exercise, one was general health, and then the rest were all about 
films and TV and stuff like that. So yeah, talk to me. I'd love to know your thoughts on everything we just discussed. Right, there's a little tiny bit more time of hooping, not much more, about 45 seconds. Oh, and by the way, some of you might have watched me yesterday when I was talking about Barbie dolls. My Barbie doll, it turns out she was a 1979 Barbie. So do you remember I said to you, yes, I've got a Barbie doll here. I haven't found it yet. I need to do that because she's definitely here with my Cindy dolls. She was from 1979 Barbie. Yeah, so I found her online yesterday and I was like, oh my God. So yeah, that's what I've got. I had Cindy's from a lot younger and then but that was like the first Barbie that I sort of got given. So yeah, a few little conversations to be having today. Right, I think that's it. I'm going to stop now. I'm going to catch my hoop. Those of you who are watching me for the first time or whatever, I'm Emma. I'm a personal trainer and a class instructor. Um, I run a free daily challenge group. I also teach classes ooh, Monday to Saturday via Zoom, as well as some face-to-face -face classes if any of you happen to live anywhere near me. Um, those of you who want to know where I live, I live in somewhere called Swanscombe in Kent in the UK. So if you live anywhere near me, I would love you to come and join me. But if you don't, don't spare. You can join me online. That's the one beautiful thing about doing online classes via Zoom. You can sort of join me for anywhere in the world. Also, if the time zones just don't link up and you still want to join me, you can purchase any of my classes and I can actually send you out a link because I simultaneously um, feed them into my Facebook group as well so I can record them. So if you ever want to do that, let me know. I'd love you to join me. Um, you can even join me for Fitness for a Fiver. So, I mean, it's a fiver. We were talking about money just before this, and I was saying the amount of pe things that people waste a fiver on without even thinking about it, but when it comes to our fitness, which is what? Probably one of the most important things. People don't do it. Does that make sense? You know, and that's something I do find quite fascinating. So, again, I guess the final closing question for you today is tell me something you spent a fiver on that was just a waste of money you didn't even really give a thought to. Be honest with me as well. Tell me the truth. Uh, what did you just waste a fiver on? Whereas, in all honesty, if you wanted to, you could have invested in your health with a fiver for a class. So, and that's not meant to guilt you. I'm just saying it's how our mindsets work, doesn't it? I can be absolutely broke. Those of you who watched me for a while, you know that I had a um, collect Sylvanian family's collection with my daughter. We didn't, we didn't do that. I've been broke. Oh, I haven't got any money. I can't do this, can't do that. And I've probably spent hundreds of pounds on the surveillance family collection that my daughter and I have built up together. So, do you get what I mean? We all do it, so I'm not just guilting you guys, I'm just trying to encourage you to see that what better investment is there than in your health, in yourself. We get one body to live in, we don't get another one, this, this is it. You know, we, we do get, we get one life, and we need to live it well, and it helps if we're fit and healthy. But anyway, I'm gonna stop rabbit in now. So, Insta crew. Oh, and then, oh, hello. Anybody that spoke to me or you put a comment in, I will read them afterwards and comment. Um, oh, that's a nice one. Oh, I'm an intelligent, beautiful woman. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, and I'll talk to you soon. Insta crew, bye guys. And then what about you, my little Facebookers? Let's jump up here and have a look here. Why do you not deliver to Canada? I do deliver to Canada. Well, I mean, I can't put myself in the post box and post myself to Canada. But I can. You could work with me in Canada. Of course you could. You could join me via Zoom. You could purchase a class and I could send you a link via email. So, yeah, yeah, I, I don't deliver myself to Canada, although I'd like to. Wouldn't it be good? Could you imagine if I could put myself in the post, come to Canada and do a class with you and then put myself back in the post and come home? That would be fantastic. So, yeah, so, so Sheila, you do not deliver to Canada. I do. My fitness. If you're talking about the power hoop, that's not me. That's not my business. I just use the power hoops because I don't like doing this. You know, like I'm doing this now and I'm like, hello. It's not really me. I find it easier to do something at the same time. So I use the hoop. If they don't deliver to Canada, that's a real shame. Um, but I don't, I don't know. It's not my company. I just use the power hoop. Um, and if that's what you were talking about, I'm sure you can get a different weighted hoop from somewhere. The only reason I don't mind recommending power hoops is because I've been using them for about 10 years and they're really good. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And as I said, if you put anything in the comments, talk to me. I always go back and read it later and I'll answer. But um, I really hope to work with some of you soon. Bye, guys. See you.